this. It's a god gang twist. Round like this. A candy cane twist. Round and round. <laughs> round and round. All around. One then round and up and down go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. Hope you're having an amazing day. We are back for another December video. I'm wearing a hat, as always, in December. <laughs> so bear with it. If you don't like it, you can skip them, but I will be doing every one until Christmas hits. So with that, I'm out of breath, dancing. It's my exercise. So today, I am gonna do another wreath. I always try to make a wreath every season. I was having a hard time because I got all these wreaths. <laughs> so we are making one. I'm gonna make it for myself upstairs. We are gonna use this 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Michaels. We're gonna paint it. We're gonna wood grain it. And then I'm gonna bring it down and show you what I have. We're gonna make an actual ball wreath on top. I've done one with glitters. I've done one with um, greenery. But today we're gonna use the balls. My stuff upstairs is blue and silver. So I pulled out all of my stuff and I found something adorable. So I'm gonna show you. It might not fit into it, but I hope it works. Here, I'm gonna bring you down. Boop. There we go. These, I was at Value Village and I was trying to find a um, ornaments for the, uh, I was looking for those instruments. You can get the, the harps and the little trumpets and the, but I couldn't find them. But, oh my goodness, I came across these and I had to buy them. Are you ready? Look at these guys. I don't know what they're made. They're made out of like straw stuff. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Like, look it. So I'm hoping that they can fit. And there's another one with a bird in the middle of my wreath, sort of as a bow. Or is there another different one? Oh, there's this one. It's an owl. You know, so there's so many, but these guys are freaking adorable with the little hair muffs. And then an, that came in a bag. There were $3.99 Canadian. I was like, all right, I'm taking that one. And then there was this one. And they came with squirrels. Oh my goodness. So I'm hoping that they're not too big because they might be too big to fit in the middle of the wreath. But, so that's my thoughts. So I pulled out, um, I'm not sure if you have seen my video where I did a, uh, I made a lady and her hair was all balls, Christmas balls. And I did one that was sort of um, a portrait of myself because my hair has blue, greens and purples in them. So these, I dragged out all the balls that I had from these. And I have all of these little things I thought we could stick in there. And this is new, I bought this this year with the blue little, instead of the red berries or blueberries. And then we get the bigger balls. So I'm gonna get my stuff off my table. I'm gonna get myself all prepared and I am going to come back and we are gonna paint our door. So I'm gonna die, this year we're gonna try it with a very pale, pale gray. I've done one red, I've done one green. I'm now we're doing a pale gray. All right, guys, I'm gonna get my stuff together and I'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, you are in all, this is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Michaels. I like these for the wreaths because they're nice, they're sturdy, they're um, a thicker profile and they are taped, push pinned. Now be mindful when you put your pins in guys, this, because of this um, canvas, has like a gel silicone in between the wood and the canvas. A lot of people tend to stick their push pins into that, but be, be careful because they pop out. 
So if you're going to move your canvas around, be mindful, like it just popped out here. So be mindful that you make sure that it's in. So I tend to like to, you know, give them a pull to see, to make sure that they're in there. Cause nothing's worse than doing something and then picking it up to let it dry somewhere else. And you have no push pins. So this was the paint that I had purchased. I've used this, um, I did a bling bling for a person and I called it the Ice Princess. So this was the color. I have to mix it because it's a little watery. It's been a while. It is Burr, Bear, B-H-R, Marquee. And this one is called, ah, there's no name. I just have a color <laughs> on the top. So there's not a whole lot in there. So my thoughts are, because that's kind of what I was going for a background, like a, a gray bluey light and then come on with my wood grain. So I'm gonna paint because I don't want that all to absorb. We're gonna do just a quick, quick coat of white. This is Artist Loft White. I am using oh, this, ama actually maybe it's all at the end. Maybe I'll try and use what's left in here. I'm using my um, Royal and Langnickel Jumbo. This is the R795 Firm. Amazing. Michaels, use your coupon because it's a 20 some dollar brush. So remember, use your coupon. And when it comes to brushes, you get what you pay for, friends. Oh. It's nice to use the cheap ones for just, it doesn't matter what, but when you want a nice brush, Take the, the money and spend and get something decent and you'll have it forever. Like, um, this brush is 20 years old. So yeah, like I said, if you buy one that's quality, it will last. Our <laughs> it doesn't even work. I don't know why I have it on there. It's my remote for my camera. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get some off here. And again, like I said, I just want a base coat. And if it's streaky, I personally don't care. I am going to wet. Oh, I do have water. I'm just going to wet my, this is just water. I'm just going to wet my brush a little. Just enough so it, abs it absorbs the paint a little better. There we go. And we're just going to have at it just a base coat of white. need to open this. I was trying to use up all my other stuff. So I'm just gonna, there we go. And again, this is the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White. And this one is soft body. It's not the heavy body like it used to be. crisscross. You want to make sure you get it completely into the canvas. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little short video of how they hung my wreath at work. I think it looks pretty where it is. And I don't really drink, so I think it was humorous that they hung it at the bar. And a little more here on the edge. Because like I said, you want the whole canvas. I can, it feels dry. Like it doesn't feel like there's, and it's always hard when it's white, right? You don't see, but you can feel normally. You can feel the difference. Again, this is just going to be a base so that I'm not using a whole lot of this other color because I don't have a whole lot there. So the paint will absorb onto ah, my canvas instead of the other. So I'm just going to get the side. So I'm just got a little bit on my brush. I'm just going to tap it 
around and we're going to get the sides because you paint the sides as well. Oh, I'm excited. I haven't done the door since my spring one. So hopefully, and I'm bad. I didn't even go and look and see <laughs> and make sure I got all the products. a little bit more paint and then we are good to go with the other color I'm just gonna just a couple little spots there Here, perfect see and this oh, I just put paint all in my mouth this one here is coming out. See, that's why I don't like putting those in that uh, little silicone barrier they have in these canvases. See? Exactly what I don't want. Okay, perfect. All right, so now I'm going to give this a stir. I'm going to... Do I blow dry it a sec? Okay, I'm going to blow dry it so it's dry and I'll mix this up and I'll be right back guys. Okay, now this is mixed up. I'm sort of seeing little clumps in here. So I'm hoping, oh, it's air bubbles maybe. So I'm just gonna go like this. And that right there was not. <laughs> There we go. Let me just get a wet thing here to wipe my hands off, guys. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So now we're just going to do a nice coat of this paint. Oh, my goodness. And I guess I'm picking off. I'm going to get it all on there and then I'm, I guess I'm taking off some of these chunks that are on there. This, I don't even know guys. I don't know if I like the paint itself. It's all... It's old. I'm going to spritz it with water and see if that'll help when it's going on here because it's kind of dry. And again, like I said, we're covering this all up. Oh, I can't believe we have all of these little bits. glad we're putting something oh no you know what I'm thinking I'm gonna have to uh, 
I don't really have a color that's like this, so that's why I was trying to use this one. And of course, I use the expensive canvas. You know how that is. Let's just do it right to the end. I like to show it all, my friends, because, you know, we are not all perfect. And nothing ever goes perfect. I'm just using my finger just to smooth out that little bit that's there. Get rid of crazy. Okay, now I'm hoping. Oh, there's I see one piece on my brush. Get that off the brush, and I'm gonna give this a spritz with water again. A good spritz. Oh my goodness, doesn't want to come out. Come on. There we go. And then I'm gonna come back and just go. Oh. Again, I'm not too worried about the little wee. I was actually kind of going for a distressed door. So. It, this might just actually work with what I was trying to do, but not intentionally. I just want to make sure there's no lumps in here. That's the only thing that I care about right at the moment. It's a little bit lumpy bumpy, so I'm going to go this way. Hopefully I can mellow out that little that I can see and work fast and just keep spraying. Because I'm committed now. I can't, I'm not turning back. <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing it or not, but I can see ridges like in the paint over here. And once I get the door on there, I'm not too worried about the, the wood grain. I'm going to lift it. And I don't know if you can see right in here, a little bit there. And now I'm just going to get the edges. And again, see, that's putting that pin in that silly doesn't work all the time. It just fell out on me. There we go. Stupidness. Ah. All right, we're going to flip it this way. I'm going to attempt to put a little bit of paint on my brush. Let's see. Like I said, we got white on it already, so I'm not too worried about the sides. It doesn't have to be 100%, but it would be nice to have the gray on there. All right. Done. And if you brush your brush upward, oh, you can't see. If you brush your brush upward, you won't get the lines on the top. All right. brush just putting a little on the brush and then doing the sides <clears throat> I 
and then this has to completely dry before we can add the wood grain on. So this will be Sunday's video, but it's probably going to be a little later getting up. I'm just wetting the edge a little so I can get a better coverage there. And I have a piece of goop. Eye goop, paint goop. All right, and we'll do one more little bit on here. And then we will be done. And I'm throwing that paint out because it is not very good. It is a pretty color. Yes, I did a huge painting. I'll have to... It was four foot by three foot. We got one missing there, one missing there. See, this is why, my friends, I like to put it in the actual wood. All right, we're just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna put my tape there. My other couple pieces of tape here, just so it's, there to dry. Oh my goodness, why does nothing want to work today? As par for my course. And then I got stuff on the top. Oh my goodness. I'm not meant to do this video today. Okay. I'm going to spray it again with a little bit of water. And I'm going to fix up those little thingy boppers. I'm hoping it doesn't and the more you play with it the more it's going to get worse I had it perfect so to speak I'm leaving it guys so this is gonna like I said it's gonna have a coat on it so I'm not too overly worried about that right there all right so I'm gonna put my fan on it and I will see you guys when it's dry and this right now is going in the garbage done <laughs> I'm gonna wash my brush and I'll see you back when it's time to do the wood grain I'll see you in a bit guys Okay, I am back. While my canvas, it still needs to dry just a little bit, but I found these at Michael's. They have Merry Christmas. This one says Happy Holidays. And this is Happy Holidays, but a bigger version. And then Merry and Bright. So I thought it would be nice to put on the top or the bottom. I might not use it. But I just thought I'm going to come in here while that's drying. And I am going to put some... It's sherry. I'm not painting them. I'm just going to put some of my Duragloss varnish on. And then we're going to sprinkle it with some of Laura's glitter. Go figure, eh? This one is blueberry sparkles. So we're going to move this and we're going to get at this pretty quick. And this can dry while I'm doing the other stuff. Now I could use something else, it is it is what it is, but I just was trying to find something that would be quick and I'm just using one of my paint brushes, just painting all along. And it doesn't have to be anything extravagant. Like I said, I don't care if it goes on the sides. If you wanna be a little more diligent, then that's fine. I just want to work quick so it doesn't dry before I have a chance to sprinkle it with the glitter. You want to make sure you get it all on there. I just thought that blue, I pulled it out with all the rest of my glitters and I think that's the best color. 
that would go nice. Quick, easy, and done. Oh, I was going to use this. Here, let me grab something else. I have one-sided music sheet, so I'm going to flip it around, take this, uh, and put this here. Sorry, guys. Put this here, put this here, and here we go. I'm just shaking. I'm hoping it stays. I'm not too worried. It's all going to come off. I know it looks like a lot. I'm trying to shake it gently, but it just keeps wanting to pour out. All right, so it's all on there. Now I'm going to take another piece of this paper and just gently massage and hopefully it stays on there uh, it might not have worked but we're gonna try it worked here <laughs> I may have to do it a couple times. So we're going to do that one. I will shake this and we'll do the Christmas tree. We'll let that dry and we'll do a second coat. I'm going to put a little bend in that so that goes in there easily. Perfect. I think me smushing it didn't help it. So, okay, let's get the second one in here. We don't want my brush to dry. Whoops, put that there. I don't want my brush to dry too much. So let's get in here, the Christmas. You could use Mod Podge, you could use Elmer's glue, you could use anything you desire. This is just, it was handy. It was right in front of my face. <laughs> so of me trying to find something. Make sure you do the right side of the words. I was just thinking of that as I'm doing this. I'm like, oh, it is the right way. Because that would be something else I would do. We are all human, guys. And like I said, once I get my my wreath on there, this might be too much. I might not want it on there. So, all right, let's get this back on the paper. We'll remove this again. And I think I may need to do two of them together. And here we go. see a spot here that's missing here all right let's see I'm not gonna pat it down let's see if that works let's see we'll still need to do a couple little touches up that glitter is going to be beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to set him here. We're going to let them dry. 
and I'll do a second coat, but I'm not going to put you through the second coat. I'm just going to come back on it again, exactly what I just did, and do it again with the glitters. I'm just going to pick up all of this gold goodness. Put it back in here. We'll let those dry. And then when we come back, we're going to be at the canvas. There you go, Laura. I didn't waste too much of it. There's a little bit here. But look, it didn't take a whole lot. Okay, I'll see you guys when we are ready to do our wood grain. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, so this is my wood grain tool. Um, I will link it. It was I bought it off of Amazon. Now this is also my the mix. It is brown paint and it is glazing medium. I can't remember offhand what the ratio is, but I promise I will link it all in the description box. And while we wait for this to dry, I will check it out and give you more information. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, please tell me that's going to open. All right. So that's basically what it is. Now I'm taking a sponge brush and I'm going to do two. And I figured it's one, let's see here, one, roughly one, two, three, four, five, roughly five swipes. So I'm just taking a, a foam brush and we're going to paint this on. And then we're going to take it off. So we're going to kind of work fast. And there's enough here that I could probably get two passes. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to start at the top. And I'm an odd duck because I keep flipping my canvas. And we're going to just pull, drag, rock, and drag. And if you don't like it, you can always redo it. And again, like I said, you can do what you want with your own. I find it works better for me to flip it. And that way you get a different wood grain. Pull, rock, and pull. There we go. So we're going to do a couple more. So you kind of want it, depending on how much you want the wood grain, how thick you put it on. All right, so we're going to do it again. I'm going to flip it again because it's sherry and I'm an oddball. All right, here we go. Wood grain. And you want a little bit of pressure because remember you want to take rock because you're removing some of that. All right. Perfect. So we're going to add onto this side, come over what we've already put on there so it's not wet or not drying on you. And like I said, you don't use a lot of it, right guys? See how much, all right, now I'm gonna, <laughs> you're gonna get tired of me flipping. I'm gonna flip the canvas again. And come close to the what we've done. So that's one, two, three. And here we go. Rock I'm around the Christmas tree on happy holiday. There we go. And 
And if you get more than, we measured out five, but you know what? It might take more than five. I'm just gonna go like this, just get the edge. Perfect. And <laughs> I'm gonna flip it again. Cause I'm special. So, so, so special. Okay, here we go. See, and I overlap somewhere in here, so I'm just going to come to the side. We're going to start this way. This is what they're meaning. Start at this end instead of this end. And I'll get a different grain. And they are right, but I'm just an oddball. And again, I'm going to flip it because I don't like how that turned out. A big blob here. So let's... That's weird. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Now I'm going to do the sides. And basically I'm just going to paint the side and do the exact same thing down the side. Um, let me see if we can do it without ruining the front and show you. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to do this. We're just going to without going, uh, let's do it this way, without going on to the top. And then we are going to do this. And we have a wood grain on the sides. Okay. So I'm going to proceed to do that on all four, uh, but I'm going to tilt it so that I'm not hitting the front, guys. So I'm sorry if that's going to, I know you're not going to see 100%, but with this, you have to work a little quick. And here we go. Perfecto. Now this one I have to, hmm, we're going to see, I'm going to have to, I'm going to put you on pause because I'm going to have to take it and do it on the side and I'll be right back guys. Okay, I'm back. So I have all the sides done. One, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to let this all dry and we're going to come back and add our Christmas balls and possibly our words. We'll see. My hand out there. There we go. So yeah, so I'm going to let this dry and I will be back. Hello, we are back. Now this is still, this is for video purposing only is why I'm rushing. But this is still just a little bit tacky. It will dry a little shiny, but it's a little bit tacky, but enough for me to work. So I'll show you what I did. So that's the Mary. I put a coat of, look at this. Look, no glitter. I put a coat of hairspray times two. So where I'm going to start is I'm going to start with the bigger balls. I want to make sure that I'm going to put them kind of all on the same line. So this is my eight inch, six inch bowl. Let me get my ruler out. 20 by 20 inch canvas. And this is a, a eight inch bowl from the top to top, from the rim. So I've measured it out. I've got six, I got six, I got six. So I'm gonna, with a Sharpie, just to give me a line of where to glue the balls on. There we go. 
and I'm glad it's gonna cover that little spot. But it is what it is, it's wood. It's nature. It is all in perfection. Now I'm gonna, really, really funny, I'm gonna show you. I, at the end of every season, I go and buy all kinds of picks when they're 70% off and look what I found. <laughs> too funny. So I thought if my little one bird is, is too big, I could put this bird in there because I have a feeling this guy might be too big because he's going to take the whole center. So we're going to set them aside and we'll see what comes with that. So first of all, I've got all these balls. Um, I sorted them through. I've already nipped off the ends. These are leftovers from when I was doing my inspiration of me being me. Uh, my beautiful uh, self-portrait. Okay, so we're going to go one. So I'm going to do is try. I got glitter. I got... So we're going to try to kind of see what we got going here. We'll do and then a blue. I've only got two blues. So I'm thinking in the bottom of the base, I'm just going to do silver because I got lots of blue to go in the other one. So I'll do one, two, three, one, two, three, one of each. Stay there. And then it'll be one, two, three, three, one, two. I think that'll work. Okay. So we're going to start. I'll put them down here. I've got my glue gun ready to go. And I am basically putting the glue right where the little um, knobby part was. So, lots of glue. And here we go. You wanna hold it until you feel it's secured. And then we're gonna go with the next one, which is the silver, plain silver. And you want to stay along that line, right? <gasps> Jeez. Oh, mm -mm -mm. that was silly. Well, I'm going to wait a minute and hopefully I can pull that off. What not to see? I tell you guys, you learn a lot of times what not to do when watching my channel. Oh, good. It's coming up. <laughs> I was like, no, and I probably shouldn't be holding my glue gun the way I'm holding it. I'm just going to try and peel that off and we can hide things. My friends, I got all these little balls coming as long as that's in there. Okay. Nope. Self be a bit quicker. Okay. Here we go. Glue flipping quick along the line. <laughs> And I'm going to do glitter. Along that line. And silver. And I have to be mindful of pay attention to these balls because they've been hanging around for a bit. So if they don't look the best, like I think that's part of from the side. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pull one of these that don't have anything on it. And here we go. Glitter. Silver. And 
I need another glue stick. Here we go. Oh, get in there. Perfect. Silver. Glitter. Ow. <sighs> that really hurt. <laughs> I look down and there's a huge blob down there. I need to get myself one of those little finger things. Glitter. And then we will do another one of the the pearlized one. Look at that. It was like it was almost meant to be. All right, so this guy can go back in here. So we're going to put these away. So those are the big balls that we've used. Now, I'm trying to think. Oh, I'm wondering why it's not standing up. Let me just take a quick minute here. And, oh, jeepers, I'm noticing there's brown here. Let me take that off. And there's brown on here, and it's from the paint because it was sitting on the side. Now, do I do the Merry Christmas, guys? Because I think it's pretty. Whoop! And then we can fit. I think we're going to do it. Okay. So this one, I'm an eyeballer, so hopefully, so we got 20 inches. We're going to put this on first, and then we can make sure we don't cover them up. So we got 20 inches, and this is basically 12 inches, so six. Four. One, two, three, four. So the T is the center, more or less. And I'm just going to eyeball it, guys. I'm going to put some glue on here. I'm just going to glue it in a couple spots down the T, on the C. Just in a few spots. I'm not going crazy with the glue glue just in case I decide that I don't like it on there and it can be easily removed. Okay so there we go and remember the T is the center. But to me it looks like the S, oh no the S is the center. Oh my goodness Sherry. I'm glad I can kind of see what I'm doing there. Press down. I'm going to stick my hand up. There we go. Chris. And now, hopefully I can do this one without too much difficulty. Okay, and then there's Mary. And we're going to, I'm just putting glue down in a couple spots, some at the top, some at the bottom. And then I'm going to eyeball it. You want <laughs> I am very bad for just eyeballing things ah oh, there we go I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, I should be being mindful the sides are still a little bit wet so there's the Merry Christmas now we're gonna come in and do the balls 
There we go. All right, so we got all these beautiful. I found some disco balls. I found some of these. So I'm going to start filling in with some of the bigger ones. Let me divide them up here. Oh, I got this size. I'm going to pull out the bigger ones. And they're all basically. So I'm going to go right straight to the little guys because I think these are going to be too, too big. So I'm going to put those in the other bucket. Decisions you have to make. Crafting on a whim. All right. So. So we've got these. And the brighter ones. I'm just kind of looking to see what I got. And then we're going to place these in here as well. And then the rest are just kind of silver. All right. We're going to, I think we'll start with, um, how many we got? We got one, two, three, four, five of each of these. So that is kind of good to to know what's how many you've got. And then you can kind of strategically place them. Okay. Five. All right. So let's go. We're just going to start placing on the insides. So I'm going to start putting some of the glitter ones. And you can either adhere them to the actual balls itself or to the canvas. So I'll start with the glitter ones. Lay a, put a few of those on the inside, kind of away from where the other, the other ones are not. Oh, I got two sizes of these. Another one here. Perfect. And then I'm going to come in with maybe one of these here. And one of them down here. And then I'll start. Whoa! My cord fell. And then I'm going to start putting them. The little guys in. Where did I put that? That's too funny. The glue's nowhere near where I want it. There we go. Stay. Perfect. So I got all the little ones. So what I'm gonna do is that one's got a little defect. So we're gonna put that in the back. Kind of like that. So we're going to glue that there. Put a little glue on the little knobby part. And we're going to stick that right up in here. Oh, which guy are we going to put in the center? I want to put the little... Oh, well, maybe I should take this off. Because I was wanting to put the little bird... I'm going to do that now so I've got placements. Yeah, see, I think I think this guy is too big, okay? So I'm glad I found this, but I don't know if I want the berries. So I'm going to cut the little, the little berries out. I'm taking the little berries off. And holy manolis. And I'm going to cut this little stick off. There we go. And we're going to glue this guy right there. I think. Perfect. So I'm going to 
glue the crap out of this. Hopefully it'll stay. I'm going to come in behind so I can push down on the canvas. It's my I'm working music. Oh, you know what I'm going to have to do is cut off taking the paint off but that's fine because I'm gonna put it right back I'm gonna shave the back of this stuff so it'll sit properly I should have done that I wasn't thinking here I'm gonna do it over the garbage so I don't make a mess like he got burnt <laughs> all right so now that's a little more flush I should have done that first so now we're gonna put this back on here hopefully it'll work come on there I think that's better okay now I'm gonna stick my hand back in here again to give it a good He's so cute. Ouch, ouch, ouch. There. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Cute little guy. Okay, so I'm going to put this back here. There we go. Now, <laughs> I'm going to glue another one of these here. And... Actually, let's do a bright one. So we're going to stick this on the inside and this down. And we're going to put it in here. Awesome. And then maybe what I'm going to do is put this guy right there to fill in that or no we can do a little that's what we're gonna do we'll do the little glitter and if I can get it out there we go so we're gonna put that there and there just to fill that hole in And then we'll put another, no, I think that'll look silly there. Um, another little one in here. Some glue. Perfect. Whoop. So now I'm going to fill out. Hmm. I can't go too much bigger because of that Mary up there. So I'm going to come around and do a row of these little guys all around the edge. I'm going to alternate because I don't have. So we'll do glitter here. Plain one here, just kind of between the balls. I'm just gonna place a little one. Like I said, I'm just gonna alternate. Oh, I just flew glue all over.
And then I thought I would build up. Oh, we've got to strategically place these now. Okay, so I'm going to put one of these here. We might have to do a couple glitters in a row. That's why it's nice to kind of count them out before you start doing that. And then we'll put this one here. Just so they're kind of strategically placed. And then I'm going to fill the rest in with the glitter ones. We're going to two together up here, but that's fine. I am fine with two glitters. Go figure, eh? I'm impressed. I'm using up old stuff, guys. I haven't bought nothing new. You'd be impressed with me. I was looking at all the stuff at Michael's and I went, no, I can't do it. I got to go and look and see what I have at home. <laughs> As I keep, oh, that's pretty. And then like these guys, I didn't even realize I had him. Funny. I probably did a, a video haul where I show you how I bought them. All right. So let's do... Now we'll start layering in between. Because I got those two there. I'm going to put this guy here. Perfect. And then we'll put another guy over here. I want to bring in the blue because we've got so much of the silver. And right at this point, you're probably sticking it more so to the balls than you are anything. So, another one over here. Hmm. How about we leave those for the moment and then we'll come back in. We'll be do some disco balls. some of those in here. And these are actual real glass, which is kind of cool. Put another one up here. See, I don't know if you can see. I thought they were really cute. Again, I had these end of seasons last year, probably. And I'm going to put this one on the outside over here, maybe over here. to stay there. He's looking cute. Yeah, it's not gonna... You can see a piece there. All right, so... Now I might add... I don't want to go too further more on the outside. I want to start bringing it up. So maybe I'll add one of these here. Oh. And I got this bright blue, but I think the blue, I think, the, oh, no, no, I'm almost debating not to put this in because it's a little bit too bright. All right, we'll put another, another silver one here. Baiting. I'm almost because these guys look odd now that they're we need to do another row almost it 
decisions. I think we'll put. I don't know. I don't want to put any more. I don't know if I want to put any more on there. If I do, I'm going to put the little ones. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm gluing them together. I'm going to put the little ones together in here just to build up some more. Put that one there like that. Put this one over here maybe. Oh my goodness, I was going to put lights in this and I forgot. <laughs> but that's alright. Something right there. Let's do a disco ball. Because, you know, life is just one big party. Eh? There we go. You know what? I think that's it. I don't know if I want to... I don't think I want to put any more on there. Now, I had these ribbons. And I thought I could... But you know, I don't want to put... Less is more sometimes, guys. Okay. I'm going to hang it up on my little rack behind me and we'll see what it looks like because I think I'm done. I really think it's done. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause and I'll be right back. There you go. Oh, I think it's so cute. I'm glad I stopped the colored balls and all that stuff because I think you wouldn't want much more on there. The Merry Christmas is adorable. That amazing glitter with from Laura's Art Corner is just the perfect color. So yeah, see the painting was still wet <laughs> when I moved the sides. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it turned out amazing. Let's look, come in here. Let me just, I got you plugged in. So I need to make sure my wires are out ready. Look at that. That little owl is adorable. I love the wood grain effect. And look at all that amazing glitter. And I know we're in this era where not everybody has to say Merry Christmas. And I apologize if this offends anybody. But you know what? It is what it is. And Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, and whatever it is. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I think this is just amazing. So... With that being said, everything I use today is linked in the description box. And I will have that um, ratio. I'm pretty sure it's um, four parts of the um, gloss medium, I think it was. Four parts of the gloss medium, one part paint. But I'm going to double check. It will 100% be linked in the description box. I will link my other videos that I've done these. And I'll link my my girl that I did with the balls that's where they were from so with that please please if you have not yet subscribed think about subscribing to my channel I would love you to be part of my YouTube family and help me get to that next level of 100,000 that would be awesome and hit that bell up there for notifications hit the thumbs up and if you like it please give it a share so with that Here's my long-winded exit. So everything that I have used, again, will be in the description box. And here is the links for all my sponsors. I have the links to where to purchase um, Julie Cuts molds. I have the links to where to purchase molds and shapes, amazing molds. I have the link to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I also have the link to Crystal Resin, 
with my discount code of Sherry Molten 5, capital S. And don't forget, right now, if you buy the um, shallow casting resin, use my discount code and you will get a free um, pen mold with some inks to replace five inks that go in. Also, I have the links to Let's Resin with my discount code of Sherry M. 10 capital S capital M. I have my um, amazing Lares distributors. I've got Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website. My discount code for Michelle is all cap or sorry, Sherry Molten 10 capital S capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, the glitters that we used here today. Um, my American Lares distributor. My discount code for Laura is all capital letters Sherry Molten 10%. And with that, I have my PayPal if you choose to donate and help support my channel and my Amazon links, which I'm an affiliate with. Woo! So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.